I'd like to introduce you to Tessa Guy, who is the founder of In Mind, In Body, which is a series of MP3 downloads that enable you to exercise and get nearly all of the benefits of the exercise purely from using your mind and your imagination. I started doing In Mind, In Body after I had cancer myself in 2010. And during my chemotherapy, I found that I wasn't able to exercise or do all the normal things that I would for, for stress relief. And I started looking at all the self-help books and out popped the word stress to me, left, right and centre. And I thought, well, how do you become stressed? It's purely through thought, through, through my thinking, my perceptions, my beliefs. And I thought it was, it was quite staggering, the input that our, our, our thoughts have on our health. And was that something you'd even considered before? No. So I know you, you came to the Haven and, uh, uh, and did all of their programme there where it focuses a lot on the, the mind and body connection. Um, no, it wasn't something I thought of. Um, but during the course of my reading, going further into the, the impact that our thoughts have, I discovered that you can actually improve muscle strength through thought. And as a personal fitness trainer, I've always worked in health and, health and fitness industry. I thought this was actually um, staggering. Um, not only can we improve muscle strength, but we can um, improve motor function, we can slow down the impact that muscle atrophy has, um, we can improve the immune system, there are all sorts of things. We can even um, improve heart and respiratory rates through imagined movement, we can reduce, uh, reduce. we can um, release endorphins into the bloodstream purely through imagining exercise. Then over the next few years, more research was coming out, um, especially from the Benson Henry Institute in Massachusetts. They actually immobilised people's wrists and got them to imagine just flexing their wrists up and down. And um, obviously they had a group that didn't do the imaginary exercise. And the group that did the imagery actually reduced the effects of muscle atrophy by over 50% compared to the other. So mindful, which was abs absolutely amazing. Yeah. So it's the sort of thing that you want to get into old people's homes or, I mean, people who are recovering in hospital and can't move for six months. I mean, yes, they because lose their muscle. It's, it, okay. Exactly. It's not, but it's also not just physical. It's psychological. The benefits that you know that there's something that you can do to help yourself. Because I certainly, from my experience um, with cancer or, or when you have a, um, an injury, the psychological impact that has on you um, has a knock-on effect with your thinking, as you know, with your, you know, the whole digestive system of the body, how we function, the metabolism. So being able to give somebody some hope um, and realisation that this is something that they can do. And the great thing is, we can all do it. It doesn't matter who we are. It's not, it's not as if some people can do it um, better than others. We can, we, we can all use our imagination, whether it's through exercising um, <coughs> to give us hope, um, to help us on our journey. So it's like giving people almost a dream. When you've got a dream and a goal, you know exactly where to go. Fantastic, Tessa. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.